These days, he's best known as Stanley Roper, the landlord of Three's Company that later went on to have his own series entitled The Ropers. But he hasn't always played this type of character. You starred in uh, TV series such as The 87th Precinct, uh, Dan August with Burt Reynolds, uh, the miniseries Rich Man, Poor Man, and of course Three's Company and The Ropers. That's quite a mixture of uh, dramatic and comedic roles. Which type of role do you enjoy the most? I love the dazzling with my footwork, you know. I don't like anybody to categorize me if I can possibly avoid it. So when something comes up that's a little different than I've done, I jump at it. And uh, many, many actors are capable of this. They just uh, don't get the opportunities too often. You know, if a guy plays a cop, he's a cop. If a guy's a crook, he's a crook. But a good actor can play both, you know, or many, many other things. I don't have a favorite. Uh, it depends on the role. It depends on the writing. If it's a, a good dramatic show and a real good part where there are many dimensions and colors to the character, then it's fun, be it comedic or, or dramatic. Of these series, which, which series did you enjoy doing the most? Of all the series, I would say Three's Company and The Ropers right. were my favorite because somehow the, uh, the character of Stanley Roper was, I mean, a great character to play. It's like sticking your head above a fence. You could suddenly breathe and, and really carry on. Um, also, a lot of things that I played in comedy were parts where I reacted to what other people were doing. And I got to be an expert at that. I could react with little takes and things like that. But Roper would instigate. So it was a whole new approach for me uh, to do bizarre things, you know, and really go way out, much further than I have before. And being in front of an audience like we were every week uh, was really a terrific exercise. With the Ropers off the air now, what is in store for Norman Fell? I did a movie of the week. I did two... Uh, motion pictures for the theaters, uh, which are just coming out. Uh, one is uh, called On the Right Track with Gary Coleman, which we shot in Chicago and whatnot. It was a lot of fun. And then a movie called Paternity with uh, Burt Reynolds, which we shot in New York and in California. So those will be coming out soon. Now, there's something else happening, and it's all very new, which is a new series for NBC uh, that I'll be doing starting in October. It's an interesting story, I won't go into all the details, but I, st I was doing a play in Canada, I was rehearsing a play in Canada, and I got a call to come back to the States uh, to do a new series with Angie Dickinson, uh, which wasn't a pilot, it was 13 firm episodes on the air for NBC, for Johnny Carson's company. So I said, yeah, I'd love to work with her. So I came back, we did one show, she decided she didn't want to work in three camera tape in front of an audience, you know, it made her too nervous, which I can understand. And uh, so just before I came here, I found out she will be doing a private eye. Uh, nobody's heard this before. Uh, one hour show, probably go on the air in February. And I will not go with her on that hour show, but the network wants me to do more or less my own show, which will be a three camera tape comedy. Right. So all I know is that I play a high school principal, and that's all I know. There's been nothing written yet. Uh, the character was described to me what he would be like. I said, well, that sounds interesting. If we can make the right deal, uh, I'll do it. <laughs> so that's where we stand. Tomorrow night, we'll continue our talk with Norman Fell and take a look at actors' salaries and objections to sex and violence on television. From the Frankfurt Flughafen, Specialist Dennis Neal, AFN.